Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and today we're going to be going over future Greenville updates. Just a side note, the update actually should be coming in like a week or so. They stated that update is coming mid-August and it's mid-August almost right now. So we should be getting it pretty pretty soon. I made a post if you guys are excited for it and a bunch of you are. So without further ado, let's get right onto this video. Alright guys, the first thing is a new remodeled Tires Plus building. Uh, it just looks really cool as you guys could see by the images um there's one thing where the cars are lifted up now i hope this actually works and it's actually functional um i would see why it wouldn't be probably because of lag and everything but if it's functional that'd be really really cool uh, i'll just make the game more fun overall and yeah all right guys next we have a new car it is the 2021 land rover discovery s and r dynamic uh this is what it looks like uh, as you guys said, see the front kind of looks weird. That's just my opinion. Um, I also don't like the little green badge on the side of the car. Uh, and same with the back. Um, everything else looks pretty cool. I like the dark rims. All right, guys. The next thing is a new rear light for the Audis. Um, so they said also every new Audi will have sequentials. So here's an example. I'll play it right now. So as you guys can see, that is actually really, really cool. It just makes the game more realistic and more cool looking. Um, I like when they actually add like all the animations and everything. So yeah. Next, we have the 2021 Audi A6, Allroad S6, and RS6. So we got 30 plus new trims, including premium, premium plus, and prestige trims, and many more options to choose. So as you guys can see, there are just many, many trims for the Audi. There's just rows and rows of them. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy that they're actually adding a lot more trims than they used to. Alright guys, the next car is the 2012 Mitsubishi Galant ES FE SE and rally art i think that's how you say it rally art i don't even know uh, but this car just looks pretty simple looking um i'm not a big fan of it it just looks too normal for me uh the red one however is pretty cool i don't know if it has tinted headlights it looks like it does um but i don't think any car in green has tinted headlights uh, so if it actually has tinted headlights, I'd probably be getting that specific trim. Alright guys, next we have a Ford Focus with a bunch of different models. I'm not going to say them all. It's just too many. But um, we can't go wrong with the Ford Focus. It's just a really cool car. Uh, I hope you could like customize it and stuff. Like maybe the rims and a bunch of different like trims. And as you guys can see, there are actually a lot of trims for this car. Uh, we have like a real spoiler and this blue one. Um, but yeah, a lot of them look cool. A lot of them don't. Uh, so yeah. Alright guys, the next car is a 2020. Lincoln Navigator in 11 con configurations. So we have the standard, reserve, a reserve monochrome, black label, and a bunch of other words. I'm not even risk saying. Uh, so this so is what the car looks like. I'm actually a really big fan of this car. It just looks super cool in my opinion. The rear lights could look better, but uh, as you can see, there is actually a limo trim. A limo trim. That is just insane. I don't know if they'll actually add the limo trim, but if they do, that'd be really cool. It obviously would be banned in like real plays if you guys do that, but in regular servers, this car would be super fun to drive around and like role play with. Alright guys, next we have a new inline trim for the 2021 Hyundai Elantra. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's actually pretty cool looking. I think the Hyundai Elantra is a really cool looking car. It's super futuristic, uh, especially for inside and it's a low price in real life. So uh, yeah, this car is pretty cool. Alright guys, next we have a new classic car and this is the 1967 Chevrolet Camaro. Uh, we all know the Camaro. Uh, the trims are base, RS, SS, and Z28. Got fixed suspension, idle engine sounds, a new tune um, with fixed wheel and rim sizing. Uh, this car just looks super cool. I'm really excited for it. And it'll obviously be under the Classic Game Pass. If it's not, I'd be surprised. But if you guys do not own the Classic Game Pass, you can't get this car, unfortunately. Uh, so I recommend all of you guys getting the Game Pass just for this car. Uh, it's really cool. And yeah. Alright guys, lastly, we have radars. Now, this is actually going to be super super cool um i think it's for every server even like roleplay servers so if you're actually a cop you could see the speed that other cars are going and i'll show the video right here so yeah guys as you guys can see by the video it actually displays the users and your speed on top of their car which just makes it more realistic and you can actually pull them over for speeding and you can know how fast they go all right guys that's pretty much it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed update should be coming pretty soon and i just want to say thank you guys for all the support we're almost at 1400 subscribers you guys are insane uh so see you guys in the next video peace